the Battle of the Tens we had in the Brumbies versus the Rebels. You had Noel Lelisio versus Carter Gordon. Nelson, lead us into this one. Geez, this was one of the funnest little battles I have seen from two blokes uh, running in a 10 jersey. You know, you don't normally see sort of matchups and, and a bit of aggression between them, but Carter Gordon is a really, really physical 10. We've come to know that, and he's been talked about as the future Wallabies 10. And Noah Lolisio showed how much he cared about that Wallabies jersey, scoring his second try off a really good line, looking at the camera, shrugging and saying, Carter Gordon? Like, what about me, boys? Look at me. Start talking about me. And then at half time, he was asked about it by Drew Mitchell and said it was a little bit personal, this game, but I'll keep it on the field. Some people have been blowing up about it. Those people need to grow up because we yeah. need characters in this game. We need Agreed emotions, else. not robots. I re- and I reckon Eddie Jones is one of these blokes that will actually go, he's... he's- this is my competition. He's, he's actually bring it to us. It's good to see. He's, I reckon Eddie, you'd love to see that sort of thing. He's making players be, you know, hungry and show how hungry they are for jerseys. Yeah. He's fucking doing hunger games out there. And these are the fly <laughs> I'm loving it. Absolutely <laughs> loving it. And the funny thing was, like, Lola said, that was his second try. And I'm pretty sure it was in, like, the 20th minute. But... Yeah, it, it just somehow he uh, Gordon really still stepped up and and was the better of the two on the night for me. Yeah, I thought so too. I think he's he's he controlled it so well. His passing game was immense. You know, he put a couple of beautiful cutout balls. Uh, you know, I guess it's also a tale of two halves. Like uh, Carter Gordon killed it in the first. half. Sorry, no, Alessio killed it in the first half. Carter Gordon kind of got a bit more control in the second half, and obviously played bigger minutes as well. But um, uh, it was very good to see Noah attack the line. Like his first try in particular, he just went straight at the flat. line to score that. Like he flat was flat. always going for it, and the yeah. Rebels just never saw it coming. So yeah, it was it was brilliant to see from him. And I think if he can keep that in his game and balance the control in the game with long passes, long kicking, and then attacking the line, we'll get the best out of him. But for me, Carter Gordon is just all round game attack and defense is phenomenal. I think yeah. I, I didn't realize it, but maybe the thing we needed from Lolisio was aggression. If we can see him actually be hungry for the game and hungry for that jersey week in, week out, it'll, it'll be great. And I think it'll, you know, it, it'll start getting people talking about him a little bit more. But yeah, we had two tries to Lolisio as we touched on. Gordon scored his own try, scooping up a, a loose ball off the line out, but he did those two assists, which were brilliant. He made 12 tackles, so that's 92% compared to Lodiceo's four tackles for 67%. They both made two tackle busts, but it was an absolute cracker of a matchup. Yeah, even even in a winning side, even in a losing side, I think Gordon was still the preferred 10, to be honest, as well. So and that's and that's rare. Yeah, absolutely. 